What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the final throws of Dominaria Drafts here on Magic Online because Vintage Cube starts this week. So, we should be a good, in for a good time. Sapperling Migration, Spore Swarm, Mammoth Spider, and Song of Fraley's. Don't be fooled by the Oath of Tefri. 61 drafts in and we have not opened a Tefri. Make no mistake. I will take the Song of Fraley's. Seems good. Oh, good. Oh, Kamal's Druidic Val. Yes, please. Put that right down. Just kidding. That's terrible. It's actually... Mm, absolute garbage. Um, I'm pretty sure it's one of these two. Sarah Angel's pretty strong. Might be stronger than on Sarah's wings. I mean, if they have the removal for either of these, only one of them lends itself to you getting two for one. So. I feel like it's Sarah Angel. I mean, it could be on Sarah's wings. I mean, you could be right. But. Morning, Philos. I mean, they're both uncommon. I just have a 4-4 flyer by itself. If I have to top deck one of these, I'd rather top deck this one. So, ooh, a blessed light? Yes, please. That was a pretty easy pick. That pack was not perfect. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. That is correct. Much crinkle. Wow. This is where all the the viewers on YouTube were like, all the slurping, slurping, slurping and crinkling. I couldn't couldn't watch this due to all the slurping and crinkling. Please stop eating on your YouTube channel. And I'll be like, well, I understand your concern, but no, get wrecked. Also, head on over to my Patreon page. A dollar a month gets you brand new content. Oh, I like a Land of War Elf here. Time of Ice and Academy Drake are also very good. But we already have a song, so I have no incentive not to maximize my song potential. Getting crumbs all over the thumbs up button. Well, I, I don't press my own thumbs up button. And you have my sap herds. Pretty, pretty baller. Um, and I can't... Craisins don't have their own crumbs. Phylos, that's what I thought you meant. Just one match against Burn with my mono black mid range. Third game, one land and two Dragon's Claws. Yeah, Dragon's Claws are pretty good. Oh, this is... Oh, Mace Unicorn. I was like, this pack's rough. And then I saw this Unicorn and I got real, real excited. I'll press your thumbs up button. What does that mean? Can you explain what that means? I don't follow. I think it means they're going to like the video on YouTube. Possibly. That that could actually be the, the tech there. The title says standard. Every time I watch the stream is draft. Do you make me... Um, well, the title... Does does the title not say Sultai Standard and Dominaria Drafts? I feel like it literally says both. I mean, it started two hours ago. So... I, I try to go in the order that it's it, it, that it's posted. We opened an Oath of Teferi and a Song of Fraley's. So, you know, like you do. I'm going to take this Sergeant. It's good with the song. I'm going to take this Sapperling Migration. It's good with the song. Avon Sentry's good too, but 
Sappy is really where you want to be. Trust me. Oh, look, it came back. So you didn't miss anything. I like Invoke, but I might like Mammoth Spider better. Past Oath for some reason. Amateur hour here, am I right? Yeah, I want to take the spider here. Yeah, I never see migration that late either. That's why I was like, oh, that's a good, that's a nice little gift. It's not gift, right? It's the other kicker card of the set. It's separately migration. Oh, my apologies. Touche. Touche. Hey, Druidic Vow came back. That's pretty sweet. I don't care about any of these other cards. Yeah, Worm is actually not terrible. What is my favorite Planeswalker? Are we talking about flavor-wise or mechanically? What up, Dead Sights? Flavor-wise, it might be Ugin. Playability-wise, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Josh, I'd actually love it if that was your deck for July. That sounds awesome, dude. Do that, please. If you can make a Kamal's Dravidic Vow deck that kind of works, that sounds like gas. That's like Genesis Wave and Standard, bro. Hate you. Do you even know me? Cool. <laughs> oh, God. This is a legendary artifact, too, which is kind of... Oh, no, never mind. That doesn't make any sense. I was going to say something that doesn't make sense. I guess it's just Blessed Light number two. Boy. Were you aware that IHOP changed the name to IHOP? Yeah. Uh, yeah, now it's International House of Breakfast, I guess. Ooh, a foil Yogmoth's vial offering. And a rare that's missing. I assume it just means the person next to me opened money. So that's fine. I'm not jealous. International House of Burgers? The hell? <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. Why? I don't understand why would it... Has anyone went to IHOP and, and got burgers? Who is anyone like, man, I feel like a good burger and someone's like, let's go to IHOP. That's where the good burgers are. Has that ever happened in the history of the world? Call is better than uh, Gorger here because we have Song. Oh, another, migra another Migration. And another Mace Unicorn. I think it's Migration. That seems... I thought that was a troll until multiple people said it in the chat and then I was like, wait a minute. You guys are all saying it. I don't understand. I'll take a short sword. Yeah, I would never go to IHOP and get something that's not breakfast because it's a breakfast place. Like, it's known, like... That's so weird, dude. I think it needs... I don't understand. I 
a nada magrata. <laughs> yeah, that's what we got here. Two magratas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that colossal dreadmaw in M19 is fake. Is it gift of growth or is it broken bond? We already have. We just got a. Uh, we just got an invoke, so we'll just take the go for the the gift the go for, the gift for the throat. I want to take Mace Unicorn here. Mace Unicorn is one of my favorite two drops in this format. How often do you go there for breakfast? Not often. But if I go there, I'm getting breakfast food. This is why I literally defaulted to thinking it was International House of Breakfast, so that they can broaden their breakfast spectrum. Turns out they're just trying to broaden their Stupid spectrum. Wow, Wendy's God. Jeez, or yeah, that Wendy's Twitter account is fire, dude. Oh my god. How is Dreadmaw in M19? Like, it's just a joke right now, right? Like, now they're just, now they're just putting it in for the meme value, right? Wow, a magic on a magic online digi magic magic digital offering, uh, where you where you have to do something like drafting, uh, doesn't actually allow you to draft in a way that's conducive to easily reading your card types and your curve. Hold on, let me show you my surprise face. Who saw that coming? You had one job, magic. Like the gathering arena. Yeah. This pack was fine toward the beginning and then it kinda kinda tapered off. We got some Mediocre playables toward the end, but I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be okay guys Oh, we're definitely about to open garbage hundred percent. What are we betting on dry assembling? <laughs> Couldn't even say it fast enough I guess it's just sap hurt again, because why not? It's better than Knight of Grace. Probably not. Knight of Grace is pretty good. Did you really have to call that we were going to open garbage? Come on. Yeah, I think this is actually pretty good. We can probably get more sap herds as well. Not in this pack, of course, but you know. At some point. I don't think we want another sergeant. I don't think we want another invoke. I mean, it might just be familiar. I'm not thrilled about it, but... <laughs> it does let us cost our song for one. I don't actually like the land at all. I think this land is terrible. Do you ever like a draft deck around Lich's Mastery? No, we never did that. Hopefully I'll never have to. Hey, a Chain Whirler. Is that guy going for anything anymore? A dollar.
Well, could just take Broken Bond. Also, I'll take Sapling Migration number three. It's very playable, just. That guy gets played over Primordial Worm all day, especially if you have Familiar out, then it's like, boop. It's like, boop. All right, this is 23. Knight of New Banalia is poop. Uh, we'll take Natural Spiral. It's actually fine if we have, like, Steel League Champion or Call or a bunch of very valuable cards. Thorn elements. Are we mono green? No, not at all. Not only do we not have anywhere close to enough cards for mono green, we don't want to really get rid of our blessed lights, our call, or our very powerful two drops. Pierce the sky. Yes, please. So this is our deck so far. If we get a charge, that's cool. Well, we only have one trick, which is the problem. I'm not really going to cut our one trick for that. Like, we already have Double Blessed Light. So, I mean, I'm not too worried about floaters. Like, this is Gift of Growth is the only trick we have, so. I can see cutting Sword, but I don't know if I'm going to ever pierce this guy. Like, Sword is just fine. Hey, there's a charge. All right. I guess he's playing charge over short sword. Thoughts on thoughts? I have no idea what that means. What are you even saying right now? Did we open something good? God, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Sure. Take this guy. All right, this is a pretty easy, pretty easy deck. Add the lands seven ten. There we go. Eight nine. Come on, Steel Leaf. Steel Leaf Champion on turn two off the Land of War Elves, one time. This hand's very good. Memor I don't like Memorial. I don't think it's a good card. I think you either whiff or put a bunch of your good spells to the bottom of the library. We have some craisins today. That is some serious ASMR crinkling. You are not you are not wrong.
Yeah, I think only the black one, the blue one, and the white one are playable. I don't think the green one or the red one are actually playable. Tom Man, 28 months in a row. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Do it. Do it. Four point life swing. Never didn't have it. What does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. It's just random magic slang. Uh, that's actually not true, though, because if you whiff, you have Call the Cavalry, you have Sapperling Outburst, you have Song of the Dryads. Like, you have a ton of things you can play that aren't... You, you have Blessed Lights. You have tons of things that aren't creatures that can get you out of situations where you where you would be using the card. Like, I just don't think... I don't think that's accurate that the only thing you need is a creature in that situation. And then if you whiff, like, you could be putting tons of... Uh, valuable cards that you would otherwise draw on the bottom of your library. It also comes into play tapped, which is not nothing. Like, that's not a non-zero factor. I think if it had more types, like if it was like put in a creature, a, a land, or like a sorcery into your hand. I'd be like, all right, cool. Like the black one is great. Cause you're 100% going to get something in a game of magic. You're always going to have creatures that die. But every time I've seen someone play. Every, I don't, I just don't think that's true. Every time I've seen someone play Memorial, like they always whiff. So they, they're down a land. They're down uh four mana and they're down, you know, I feel like I just want to get rid of this guy and attack for five. I think we have enough enough stuff in our hand where we don't actually mind doing this. The next turn we can actually go both of these, which is an extra four, five, six, seven. It's 12 damage. It's lethal on board. Turn on that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All hope is gone. Mm -hmm. Tune in, turn over. Yep, that's a big dude. That's also a big dude. You block here, take one, two, three, four, five. That's not gonna do it. We'll just play you. Yeah, I'm not gonna Yeah, Ellen, like like let's let's be clear. I'm not saying it's never gonna hit a creature and it's never gonna be bad. It's never gonna be good. Um I just think the odds of it being bad are significantly higher. Or <laughs> we're just gonna alpha here. Sure. If it dug seven, I think that would actually be significantly different. Seven cards is a lot. We're not going to charge there because if they have Gideon's Reproach, they're just going to blow us out. We have no reason to give them to not give them just one more turn. So we saw Sarah Angel, Corsair, and the other guy. Yeah, that seems good. That's good enough.
41 is correct. I love how people still ask that question. That's comical to me. I will keep. Oh boy. Could be good, could be good. Let's talk about how Unicorn is never bad. It is never bad. Song of Frailies is pretty good. Oh, Josh, no, 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 uh, no bad feelings whatsoever, man. None at all. Um, sure. And that's why we didn't, that's why we didn't charge last game. I think Song is probably in the top two uncommons, and I actually can't think of what the other one, what another one might be. Icy Manipulator. I think it's Icy Manipulator and Song. Inbolus's clutch is good, but I don't think it's Fight with Fire also good. I think Song and uh and Icy are a little better than those. Okay, well not lands would be nice here. That's really what I'm looking for. Eldest Reborn also great. I mean we're naming the good uncommons in the set, but Is this fungal infection time? They're totally in fungal infection, our guy. Yep, that's just fine. None of you guys can block my guy? Seems good. Oh my god, are you serious right now? Four spells, nine lands. I guess the only way you lose with Song of Grace, Knight of Gra Song of Frailies, Knight of Grace, and uh, Steel Leaf Champion is when they literally don't give you any other cards to go with them. So that seems good. What do you back? Just one archer here. That's aggressive. This is pretty ridiculous. Oh, uh, I'd have to see the deck. I can't actually give you an opinion on a on an everything except white control deck in standard if I have no no framed like if I have no frame of reference then uh, it's this is utterly ridiculous I think we're still winning the race but there the problem is trapper actually blocks us a turn so that it's pretty problematic I mean if we could draw blessed light it's actually pretty good 
Just because they're stuck on lands and we are the complete opposite of that. Oh, that's interesting. 11 lands, 4 spells. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Here comes like Gideon's Reproach that they just drew off the top, so... Yeah, alright, we're just done. I guess, alright, I'll guess, you know what? I'll, uh... It's unbelievable. Migration off the top doesn't even really do anything. Like, it's going to take multiple turns for this, and we're at six right now, and they play Trapper, and then they have... Yeah, Migration doesn't do anything right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, no, another land. Wow. Sure. Sweet game. Fun and interactive Magic the Gathering, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we go up to 41 cards, because I like to... Uh, it's it's basically the, the cool thing of having 16 and a half lands instead of 17 lands. Did we see anything for Invoke? Yeah, we saw Partic Wanderer, which is actually just fine. I almost like Nature's Spiral instead of like Jorah's Familiar. They have double Gideon's Reproach, so being able to get back like a, uh, a Song or a Steel Leaf Champion seems pretty powerful. This hand's not super quick, but got good cards in it so plus we have all the lands needed for uh steel leaf champion if we draw it so still not playing the memorial even though we've gone over this four times because the memorial is not a good card it's not very playable Oh, they missed the land drop. Cool. Why not five? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? How is Memorial not playable? Because a lot of the times it whiffs, it comes into play tapped, and it puts a lot of good cards on the bottom of your library. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to... Oh, we're having a good time. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Sarah Angel, another card that I'd be fine to uh, get back with nature's res reserve and response. Big fan, by the way. Why don't you put more on your deck? Big fan. <laughs> oh my god, the memes are the best, dude. I am such a big fan of it. Okay, well that's good for us. Because that kind of says you don't have it. I think this game just ended because of... Uh, we Because we have that turn. Which in Memorial is the strongest card in the Dominaria Limited Edition. <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah, I figured you'd kill that. That was pretty obvious, but I think we'll be okay. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I'm a big fan. I like the spinner. <laughs> Cool. What does this even mean? Oh, good times. Good times. It's definitely not a free spell when you actually have to get rid of a land and whiff and don't hit anything off of it. So I, I don't think, I don't think you're thinking that through. I think you're actually explaining it the way you want to because it sounds better for your defense. But it's definitely not a free spell. Like I've seen it whiff more times than I've seen it hit. I think I've seen it hit. Once, I think literally once, and it was on the Pro Tour. And I've seen it whiff 
significantly more while actually playing against me. Yep, this was this this game was a lot better when we had the flyer and they didn't have anything. Yeah, too bad we didn't draw another migration. Instead, we drew another land, which is actually what you want when you have seven lands. The eighth land is really the one that that does it for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double Sarah Angel is actually pretty good. I don't know if you guys knew that. Another land. Blessed Light's not terrible, but not really great. Most limited decks are 16 to 18 creatures. Wow, those are aggressive limited. Those are those are heavy limited decks. I think the most limited decks are between uh, 11 and 14 creatures, which is significantly different in limited decks. It's a significantly different percentage there. I I don't I rarely see anything over 15 creatures in a limited deck. Yeah, man, don't worry. We don't have any tricks. Nothing but lands here, buddy. I mean, we have 12 creatures in our deck, so explain to me why you wouldn't play it with, with those creature counts, but we're still, like, talking about why it's playable here. I don't understand that. Furthermore, most limited decks do not have 16 to 18 creatures. I'm going to go on record saying that right now. Like, if you're playing 18 creatures and 17 lands, you get five other spells. Good lord. Your three-year-old daughter says you do not know the way, followed by a gotem. Wow, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I was actually hoping for a pump spell, but it makes sense that I drew a land there. I understand. I understand. I'm pretty sure they all run about 25 creatures. <laughs> no, you haven't gotten five bad draws out of the way because a, a not a creature is not synonymous with a bad draw. A Song of Fraley's is not a bad draw. A Blessed Light is not a bad draw. A Sapperling Migration or a Call the Cavalry, both of both are prominent cards in green X decks, are not bad draws. Not not a creature is not synonymous with bad draw. That's that's not the same. So they pretty much have to block everything? And they get to keep a Sarah here? Right, none of those cards are creatures, which is why if you whiff, you're not getting those out. Getting a blessed light out of the way isn't a bad draw. Boy, we get to eat this Avon Century? That's pretty good. Well, it doesn't matter if it's depending on what you need or not. That's not what we're talking about. I'm responding to the claim you made, which is that it's a bad draw. It's not. If you need exactly a creature, period, full stop. Sure. <laughs> just play Partic Wander so I can just kill it and then have good feels 
sure. That could be a thing. Presuming they can't kill it, I think we just win. Oh, the Partic is in the graveyard. That's so sad. Get up, come on, get down with the thickness. Come on, get down. Are they, is their plan just hope I misclick with, with Thorn Elemental? Hope he doesn't stick it to my face. Hope he doesn't hope he doesn't redirect my face. Dang, boy, he thick. Aren't we all just sandwiches? Just another sandwich in the wind. Okay. Got two cards in hand. Pay costs. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> We're having a good time. Oh, I just want to die sometimes. Sure. Why not attack with both? I don't know. I guess because... I mean, like, even if you... Even if you had... The, like, this guy just blocks here, right? Sure. <sighs> Must be nice. I'm so glad to be done with this format in two days. I'm so glad. Fantastic. That's not true that there's no net benefit one way or the other moving random cards around. Like, there, there can actually be a net benefit. You just don't know it until the, the damage is done. Uh, Vintage Cube is in two days. Sure. This is the hand we need. <laughs> this is it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. And then they're just going to be like, Oh, Gideon's approached that idiot. I want to put you on the bottom, unfortunately, because we have no white sources. Big Guy 21, thank you so much for the sub. Agent Cody Ganks, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Got the twofer right there. Oh, look. We're halfway to, we're halfway to Sir Angel now. We're not going to Sapperling on turn two. Gideon's Reproach is such a great answer to Steel Leaf Champion, and we face two white decks. So, you know, we've got that going for us. But you were never on while I was home. Yeah, Agent Cody Ganks, I, uh... I remember, I actually thought it was funny that it didn't say, you know, X months in a row, but I knew. Really. Thirty seven cards to start Angel with Morel. Touche. Touche. I can't even actually attack into this anymore. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. What we can do is go. We can go song and play sergeant. If we play sergeant now, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six bodies. If we play migration into sergeant, we'll have three, four, five, six bodies as well. Four, 
five this would be six one ones and a two three no four one ones and a two three playing this into this is also it's the same thing it's yeah both situations are giving us four one ones and a two three so except this guy blocks the corrosive ooze at least I don't think the math the math doesn't change by moving a random card from the top to the bottom. You're just likely to draw a specific card. No, you're not. If the card goes to the bottom, you're never going to draw it. If the card was already on top, you're you're eventually going to draw it, right? I mean, if it's five under, if it's actually like ten cards under, you were going to draw it in ten turns. I mean, I just don't actually. I don't agree with. I don't subscribe to that. It's a random card, yes, but it actually is a real card. Like, this isn't a... Si I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind right now. Yes, Josh, this is totally reminding of the Mill Yourself conversation. There's, if you're just considering the outcomes of moving cards from the top to the bottom, if you're talking about more specifically, then there's a downside of being a tap land and the potential whiff. Um, I don't think that's true. If you have one, that's not. It's just not factual. If you have one copy of Blessed Light in your deck, you have one copy and you need it in X number of turns. If it's in the top five and you put it to the bottom of your library, you are never going to draw it. Okay, so you have you uh, on the downside. The very worst case scenario is never being able to draw a card that you desperately need. If it's not in those top five, you get closer. The upside is you get closer to a card you may need. Conversely, if you don't use it, it's a little bit farther than if you didn't use it, but you will still get it in that situation. But we're not talking about whether you crack it or don't crack it. That's not the argument we're having. The argument we're having is in the situation where you do crack it, whether there is a downside or not. These are two different arguments. We are not. That's not the same thing you're talking about. You're just changing, that's like, you're literally just changing the goalpost. Like you're saying, um, you're moving the goalpost. Like where you're saying, well, no, you don't crack it. Well, we're not talking about whether you crack it or not. We're talking about in the situation where it is already cracked, whether there is a downside to moving cards from the top to the bottom. And there is, there is a very real downside. Uh, butts and stuff. The link to the mic gif is the the bit link. So any cheers or bits will it will pop up. This is unbelievable that we can't deal with this card. I'm actually super frustrated by that. There you go. Mike, gift to the rescue. Well, we're not going to four here, so I'm just going to... Our opponent can go to 36. I literally can't believe we have not have... We have Invoke and Double Blessed Light, and we can't find an answer to a Danitha here. This is fairly frustrating. <laughs> we have yet to have a game where we don't draw at least eight lands. And GR Rossi, again, with a situation that is completely hypothetical and not always accurate, but I guess that's the kind of arguments you have to resort to. I don't understand it, but sure. There's plenty of times where you can have a stalemate and you need to get to a Blessed Light, not in any urgent situation, but in order to win the game. Like, in order to win the game, you need a Blessed Light to get rid of, like, a 5-5 five five or, like, a, a an Imbolus's Clutches or something. And by putting it on the bottom... You're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. Like, that's just simple. Like, it's 
It's not constructed. And in constructed, it's diff- I, I, would, I would say it's different because you actually get to construct your deck. You get to put X number of cards in there. I have four Vraska's Contempts in my constructed deck. So if I miss one, there's still three more I could possibly draw. Like, But in limited, you have, you have certain answers uh, that are very limited. You have a, one copy of this card that does a thing. You have one copy of this other card that does a thing. So you don't always have the luxury of losing those cards. No one is saying there's not an equal chance that it's on the top card as the bottom card. No one is saying that. What we're saying is that once you move it to the bottom, your chance is zero. The downfall of moving the card to the bottom is your worst case scenario. Right? (laughs) Moving a card you need from the top to the bottom is the worst case scenario that you... Okay. I mean... I don't know. Like it's I I can't explain any clearer, I don't think. Wow. Well, I guess we can draw three sapperling migrations. GIF one more time. Alright, I'm done I'm done talking about this. <clears throat> There's no way to know that, of course not. That's the point. The point is you're taking a risk by doing it. No one is saying it's not random. No one is saying you're supposed to know that. I'm saying you're risking a chance to do that by cracking a land that may have zero value to you. That is the argument that is being made here. No one is arguing that you'll know that or you can play around it. No one's saying that. Chat, please focus on the giving me a happy. It's only not here because Netflix down. Love your content sandwich. <laughs> Long time YouTube here. This is great. We have a good time. Oh my god. I'm not going to Vegas. No, it's too it's too short of notice, unfortunately. They have zero cards in hand. Huh. Well. Well, Mike's tongue is my spirit animal. Fantastic. You eat you, you eat you. The problem is I don't like wasting this on this guy. Like if we blocks here, then we just have the gift of growth. Yeah, we'll keep you back. Everybody else is fine here. What if you could bring Vegas to me? Yeah, okay, do that. I'll be here waiting. I just, I don't, like, ugh. Okay. I have not played Adventurous Impulse either, but, uh... Sure. 29. They're basically dead. Why is he at 36? Because of the 4-4 uh, the four, four lifelinker that's on the board. We are not having the loot or not loot conversation. Oh, for crying out loud. The top decks, ladies and gentlemen. The top decks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're all two, so we can take three hits. So we have to block six guys. We literally don't have it. We have five guys to block. Oh my god, dude. How is this real?
Oh my god. Oath of Oath of so Oath of Nissa and Ancient Stirrings are not unplayable because you play them in constructed decks that you can build around. God, you're making the these are like the worst arguments I've ever heard. It's almost like you don't know how arguments work. Like it's actually comical to me. Most of those cards you've mentioned see play in constructed formats where you can actually construct your deck so that you have the highest percent chance of hitting. No, I would not play Ancient Stirrings and Limited. <laughs> like, also, don't know why you have a, a problem n not talking about it anymore. It's kind of comical. Like, let's move past it. Oath of Nyssa is a terrible card in limited. Like, all of these cards are bad in limited formats. Dreadmang, I am definitely excited for Vintage Cube. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. I disagree that Memorial is good, even limited. This is where we disagree, I guess. This is the entire crux of the conversation. You have an opinion, I have an opinion as well, and then we can just go about our opinion. There you go, we're done. Argument's over, right? I ask in a totally subtle manner to change the subject. Fantastic. Any thoughts on the nuclear summit this evening? Oh god. Oh god. Where are, where where are these conversations going? I think there will be at least two people in the room. I uh that's a good I I appreciate that opinion. Wow, still going. Lowest opportunity cost in the format. Lowest opportunity cost in the format. Lowest one. That is impressive. I mean, as a complete aside, I also disagree with that because the the the, the green X decks uh, actually have a very high mana curve. Cross and Druid, you want to kick it for eight. Sapling Migration, you want to play it for seven or six rather. I guess that's fine. It's actually okay because we have song here, so I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay. Is mayonnaise hot dog? Why are we doing this? Oh boy, I think we actually I think their their hastiness to broken bond that joy was familiar is really where we want to be. Uh, I'm not going to block because reasons. Hey, Frank, huge fan. I cool a lot of things down. It's okay. <laughs> it's good times. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have three, four, six, seven, eight mana. We can play this guy and then nothing else. We could also play you. You're wrong, and I hope you lose. Big fan. 
Oh god. Hex hexproof is not the great is not a great evergreen mechanic, nor is it the greatest. We definitely want this because it puts more dudes on the board. So next turn we're gonna get the thing. I don't think it's Sarah and Crossan. I think we actually just want the bodies here. I think a 4-4 flyer is powerful enough on its own, but giving these 1-1s one an actual thing to do with their lives is pretty impressive. I'm also not going to attack because they attacked into us with their 1-1 one one and we had a 2-2, two two, so I'm pretty sure they have like a Gift of Growth, in which case I don't really want them to untap their guy and eat my 2-2, my two two, which will be a 3-3 three three in the future. So, Hey, look, Adventurous Impulse. Got a Planes. Solid card. Solid limited card. Hey, I mean, whatever. Maybe they needed it, you know? Oh. And... Oh, where were you last turn, dude? Where were you last turn? Where were you when I needed you? I'm a big fan of mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise and mustard mixed. I also like mayonnaise and ketchup mixed. Both of those are tasty treats. Is this no blocks? This 12? Go to 8? That's good. It's pretty good. I finally made it so I can watch on the big screen instead of on my phone. That is, that's life right there, buddy. That's where you want to be. Miracle Whip is, is actual, uh, that is literal garbage. Oh, you got that dub. This dude's riding on dubs. What does that mean? Nobody knows. Doesn't matter. I'll take four. I don't care. I don't even care. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of him. And I'm an alpha. Because I don't care. Hope you don't have Gideon's reproach. What about mayonnaise and ketchup? And they always have it. Never, never actually had an opponent who didn't have a Gideon's reproach when they needed it. That's never happened to me before. None of the cars. All right. Anyway, Miracle was terrible. It's like sweet. Oh, oh. They go to one here? This is not good. This is not looking up here. If you can jerk on with two dubs, he's rolling on dubs. Fantastic. All right, so they're one away from Crossan Druiding. Okay, we're, we got it. Okay. bump a dump bump a dump bump a dump bump a dump bump bump I'm almost tempted to put the sword in because uh, having a Sarah Angel be a 5 5 flyer or Steel Leaf Champion be a 5 5 is actually surprisingly relevant. Yeah, I'm going to take out the spiral for the sword. Miracle of is gross. I completely agree with you. 
Hey Frank, big fan, but Miracle Whip is is delicious. Big fan. <laughs> you stupid idiot! You don't know what you don't know. Good taste. There's literally zero downside to adding Miracle Whip to your sandwich. It's statistically the same as mayonnaise. Oh, I didn't know that. My mistake. I've clearly uh, made a terrible mistake. Nutella is delicious. I wish Nutella wasn't so highly caloric. There are a lot of calories in Nutella. But, you know, that's what you get when you eat delicious hazelnut and chocolate spread made with uh, lots of fatty oils. Huge fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this huge fan meme. It is, uh, it is a, solid, a solid thing. This guy's getting... Yep, never never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. See, on the bright side for them, we don't have it though. So, that's good. That was a good draw. Ideally, we'll draw one planes into Sarah and then one thing into Sapperling Migration. Are you serious right now? Is this real life? Oh, that's actually great for us. I'll take it. I'm just memeing. I think Mayo is better than MW. Yeah. And you'd be right. I'm glad you finally came around, CTB. Actually, we're not going to cast that. We're just going to attack for... Maybe they have Gift of Growth here. That'd be sweet, right? That's sweet, sweet three for one. Dang it. You thought Mayo and Miracle Whip were the same thing? Oh my god. You have been living a lie this whole time, sir. You have been living a lie. Peace out, bird. That is Sir Chicken Sunday. <laughs> oh lord, am I a fan of what's happening there. I dubbed the Sir Chicken Sunday. That is gas. Wow. Yeah, Mi Miracle Whip tastes like if you got mayo and then you just add sugar to it. And you're just like, it makes me want to vomit just thinking about it. I'm sorry, Miracle Whip fans. I can see the Miracle Whip sponsorship is not is not forthcoming here. So, um, unfortunately, we're just going to have to have to look look elsewhere. I dub the chicken Sunday. I still have nightmares from when I was a kid and we would visit my aunt who put Miracle up and everything. This is such a better conversation than the... How many dubs are in your deck? The answer is too many. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the sword is actually 12. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to win right now. You ready? Oh, you... We're going to try to exact seize them. Oh. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I'm going to get a little charge action. Hope your last card isn't Gideon's Reproach. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 for the exact Seas. And that'll do. All right. We did it. We did it. We did it.
I completely agree with you. I'm a big angel hair pasta. Wow, that's a hell of a quote, Josh. That's a hell of a quote. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I feel like if our deck is able to draw less than less than nine lands, more than five, I think we're good. I dropped a Crazen. But we'll see. Um, Noble Phoenix, I am very excited about Fallout 76. It looks awesome. And we can definitely build a Soul Town. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it the Soul Town. And we can have... Oh, we can totally start a Fallout 76 Discord channel. Um, and have all of the... Have everyone who wants to be on the, in, the, in the same, like, server community town join our Soul Town. I'm going to keep this hand because I know in my heart of hearts that Steel Leaf Champion is on the top. You understand? You understand? That's not it, but that's still a good that's still a good ramp into. That's a good ramp into as they say. Yeah, we're just going to go sap herd here. The sap herd around the world. Next time we can go song into unicorn and feel good. Ooh. Whoa. The problem is if they attack once and get through, they're gonna keep attacking because then they know we're not gonna then we know we're not gonna take it. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. We have four lands. We can almost kill this guy, but I'd rather just have the card, to be honest with you here. We can just invoke that idiot. You stupid idiot. You big dummy. Oh, can I get a card? Give me a Sapperling Migration. All right. I mean, I just wanted at least one creature to play onto this board. I don't want to double block here. I don't actually. I'm fine with whatever you're gonna do. I'm not gonna send any. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna contest you with any of these guys. Not only do we have Invoke, we also have Joyra's Familiar. To we're fine. Everything's fine. Oh boy, they didn't play anything. Oh come on, really? Stupid land. All right, we hit the sixth spot. I don't even really want to attack because if they have gift or something, like it's pretty rough. I feel like we just don't do anything here, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we'll get in with this guy. Yeah, we did it. This doesn't feel like a Radiant Lightning to me. They're not going to have Radiant Lightning in the main deck. So, we're going to let you attack with this guy. We're going to draw a card. See if we can bait out a pump spell. That'd be so sick. Dang it. We're not gonna take it.
Oh, the old post-combat grow from the ashes. That's intriguing. Vicious offering on one of these two, presumably. No? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, well. That's pretty good. I think we just died. I mean, one. Died one. And Song is a real magic card, apparently. I don't think we bring anything in. I don't care about the Pierce the Sky. It's fine without Nature's Spiral. Short Sword I can see bringing in, but... I'll bring in the Short Sword and go to 41. It's fine. Uh, garbage Pail Kids, for the past seven months, I've been focusing on my own YouTube channel and my own Twitch channel. So that's where you can find me. I will keep this hand all day. Uh, does YouTube pay much? Apparently, I mean, like, it depends on your views. It depends on your subscribers. I mean, like, it can. It's like half of my income, so. Yeah, also, Hossmany, I agree. Uh, we don't actually have to talk about my income but i do i you know i'm watching my 65 inch 4k tv and what an experience it is having a life-size version of you in my bedroom yeah that's you know i do what i can well it's a pretty aggressive board Am I through the craisins? No, this bag is like this is a sixteen. This is a twelve ounce bag of craisins. How could I, never? How 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 on earth would I have gone through a whole bag of craisins? You are a, you are crazy, my friend. Can we get another craisin crinkled trademark? <laughs> oh boy, good times. A little crazy and crinkle there. I hear streaming magic online is one of the most lucrative jobs in the world. I don't like to brag, but um, I did recently sell some moto tickets to finance my second jet. So that's some good crinkle. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Geek man, thank you for the crinkle bits. Really appreciate it. What is that? Hordling outburst? Oh, a siege gun commander. I see. Well, that's worse. Well, this is awkward for everybody. We're not gonna take it. Yeah, my Howie, my Hungry Howie sponsorship is where most of my income comes from, just to be clear. Crinkle Bits actually makes me think of a crinkle cut fries and uh, just tiny versions in cereal. So that's actually a crinkle cut fry cereal.
Are you just attacking with this guy? Um, I'll block here because I assume this is the one you want to kill anyway. So you're probably going to sack it and shoot it to itself. So. Yes, I agree. The, the, the cereal made of crinkle cut french fries is most likely an obese cereal. Wow. So I assume you're targeting these three. And a land. Get a planes, because I have fewer of those. There you go. You figured it out. You know how to do it. What did you get rid of? The worst one? The call took? Sure. Sure. Alright, here's hoping that planes goes away now. Proud sponsor of the most flavorful streamer there. <laughs> oh, Hungry Howie Bot. Just the best. Alright, Unicorn. Mammoth is living. Fifty per oh my god, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Again with the nine lands to five spells. It's pretty impressive. It's almost impressive at this point. I, I don't even think there's any uh there's nothing really else you can say about it. Partic wander, okay. Flavu. I do like a good Flavu. Or a Valvor. Flavu and Valvor are actually two aliens from another planet. They've come down to learn our ways. Okay. Um, they can actually kill anything with this guy. Three, four, five, six, seven. You can just go shoot this guy, shoot this guy. Let's put everything in front. I don't even care. What are you going to do about it? Put the bird in front. Put a bird on it. Valvor. <laughs> oh, boy. Dude, Wilbur. So, 100%, I always thought, like... I always felt like, well, you know, Hungry Howie's is the same caliber as, like, Domino's or Pizza Hut or whatever. But, like, every time I get it, I really enjoy it. I'm just like, this is pretty good. Oh, well, we get to keep our planes. And they didn't actually kill our anything else. Okay, well, that's cool. I actually feel like we're in okay position right now. Seriously, Chris, is that a big tan, though? Is that what they call you? Is Spaghetti Toucher? Is your nickname Big Tan? I should have attacked with the judges familiar. I assume they would kill it, but I, we should have done it. I, I just misclicked because I was reading the Big Tan comment. Hopefully, hopefully the stream is more about fun than uh, a big tan is when you got a tan, but it's it's sizable. It's a sizable tan. They have no cards in hand. That's pretty good for us. We're not gonna float over. No, we ain't gonna float. Over. Yep. Just fine. I wish this didn't have a thing on it anymore. I'm just like, great, now it's just gonna sit here with this stupid bombardment counter on it. Oh, it's an aim counter. My bad. My bad. It's larger than the average pigmentation. Bear Man Man, has there been there has there been a release date for RDR2? Hmm. It's not terrible. Oh, October 26th. Man, and that's like a month after Spider-Man, so you're going to have Spider-Man in September, RDR2 in October. What a time to be alive.
trying to play all these creatures. There's no point. Like they have they have two shocks. We can't wait for them to not have two shocks. I think it's hilarious that this stream is like a Hungry Howie's meme stream. And A, it all happened because of Elk Tears. And B, Hungry Howie's doesn't even know about it. That's funny. All this is funny to me. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, alright, that's fine. Oh boy, we have a good time. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're doing good. Song. Universe is still a simulation. The universe is still a simulation. Now they're like, oh great, now I gotta kill some things. Let's draw sapling migration off the top. I will also accept sergeant at arms. Either one of those two things. I would also accept a grun. Do you guys think Jets is better than Hungry Howie's? In my experience, Hungry Howie's deep dish is fantastic. I actually really enjoy it. More so than, you know, a regular... Sure. More so than a regular, like, just regular pizza place. Or than a regular, like, chain pizza place, rather. You know, like... When you called that shot, was that you looking up glancing at RNG Jesus? Uh, I was actually trying to see if I was if I could see the tears in the matrix. Uh, like right here, like right here right now. Um, because I feel like the matrix breaks and that's me seeing through because I'm like the one, you know. Pepperidge Farm. Or, I hope you remember. I remember. What is this you're doing here? I'm going to take four here because I don't really care. Okay, don't care about that. Do you have another wizard? Yeah, you do. Dang. This is some serious damage you're dealing me. Smoke around the with no sapperlings. Okay, we're getting there. There's a lot of dudes. Okay, well, you know, forest is, is on par for our draws, so I can't really complain about that, I guess. To the surprise of no one. That's a forest. My best friend in high school got a spell for throwing a textbook at Papa John while he was riding a bike. Wow. That is something right there. Do you just kill the Yavamaya sap herd now? Yes, you do. Yep, that's a thing. The old Grand Warlord Rada Spore Crown Thala Derigaz Siege Gang Commander deck, like you do. Is there alpha here? No. The textbook had his name in the front. Fantastic. That's gas. They didn't move the... Uh, four, five, six, five to ten mana. We actually don't have to invoke yet. 
Oh, f- come on. Really? The following turn is when Sergeant Arms makes his appearance? That's such bullshit. I hate to say it, but I mean, like, seriously. We've drawn 11 lands. Interesting. Jet's Deep Dish a little better. I'll have to keep this in mind and give Jets a try. I like it like I like it crispy. Make that make that thing crispy. Wild onslaught would be so good right here. I mean this is still a fine draw, don't get me wrong. I just I mean like last if you drew it last turn instead of a land, like it's just night and day. Actually, Jets is a Michigan company, is it not? And I think that's why they do Chicago... They do Detroit-style deep dish, not... It's not like it's... It's not trying to do Chicago. It's They're doing Detroit-style pizza. Yeah, Jets Pizza is from Sterling Heights, Michigan. It has nothing to do with New York. And Michigan is like... Or, you know, I mean... Michigan is the place of Detroit style pizza, so the it's a it's a thing. If you like Pequods, I mean I've had Jets before, I just didn't actually appreciate the um Pequods is insane. Man, I like I I actually like Detroit pizza a surprising amount. I wonder if they have a pump spell here. That'd be funny. No blocks. I don't want to go to damage, though, so I'm just going to actually kill this, nor do I want to go to, like, three life here, so. I guess we go to eight, and if they have the... If they have fight with fire, we die, but... Oh. Oh. So they have four blockers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exactly. The beginning of your upkeep is exiled with an egg counter. Oh, God. We really want to get rid of that, though. What are the odds they don't have something? Wow, that's a tricky draw. Daragaz probably kills us. If they don't have anything, though. They go block, block. They have five blockers right now, so they can block all the two powers and a three power. And then they take one, two, three, four, five, six. This on this, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to assume they don't have anything. What a stupid idiot assumption that is. What a, f what a dumb, stupid idiot assumption this is. We're probably going to lose because we're not doing it on the Daragaz. But I don't know, man. No gamble, no future. The problem with that saying is sometimes when you do gamble, there's no future. That doesn't make any sense at all. Put them all in a red zone. Hmm, I like crispy cheese. <laughs> yeah, same. They uh, they caramelize the cheese on the crust, and it's actually delicious. It's like this charred, crispy cheese. It's fantastic. It's very good. Oh god, they have one removal spell, we're dead. I'm waiting for it to say pay costs here and then we die. Yep, of course. Shiv and fire. Yep, H animus, sure. <laughs> Seven. Why is this an 8 8? What did this guy get a counter from? Oh, the ancient animus, sure. Alright, cool. They go to two and we die. Yeah. <laughs> that would have done it. Literally the next card every single time was actually... Like our entire deck was one draw. One draw behind where it should have been. Apparently.
Spiral is nice with Song, and we were playing around with it, but I, I don't know if it's better than any of the cards we have in the main deck already, so... I'm, I'm tempted to have Pierce, because even, even if it kills Daragaz for three turns, like, it still kills him for three turns. Which is a good amount of time. We do have Double Blessed Light, though. I, I think we're fine like this. Yeah, they had Ancient Animus. I'm going to keep this hand. Any one land, I think it's okay. Familiar is kind of meh, but, I mean... Sometimes you just need a 2-2 flyer. Mesa Unicorn or a land. Preferably Mesa Unicorn into a land. That would be ideal. Yep. Blessed Light. It's also good. And this is where, despite drawing 12 lands each game, we do not draw a third land. Fantastic. <laughs> never, never change Magic Online. Never change. Not bad, not bad. If we hit a land here, actually, we can go uh, Song into Call, which is pretty, pretty epic. I wonder if Sagas are going to be a permanent card type now. That would be actually pretty sweet. I actually like new card types because they add a lot of design space to games. Oh, oh, well, they're missing. They missed like two land drops as well. Now I feel significantly less bad. Got those crinkles for you guys. I actually don't want to do anything here. I don't want to play song. Or do I play song? Because we can exploit it. Because next turn we'll have five mana. But we only get one turn after that to uh, to do anything with the song. All right, I feel like just keeping up one mana is probably better here. Or keeping up... Um, I, I, I just don't think we song it. We can just keep up gift and, and charge if we need to. Song with Cavalry and Charge might still win, but I'd rather improve my odds by playing like Cavalry. I'd rather get two creatures out after we... before Song goes off. Two cards off, I should say. Uh, this is a cool two-for-one, so we're gonna do this. That was a bold strategy right there. And Alright, now we're probably gonna Song just because we're farther behind than we want to be. Yeah, now if we hit a land, it doesn't really matter, so it's unfortunate, but... Okay, we just win the game, I guess. I mean, we're both pretty behind on lands. We just happen to have Song, which is a pretty good card. So, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies for the memorial debate. Apologies for the mayonnaise debate. Apologies for any saltiness that may have taken place based on drawing an, an abundant number of lands. Uh, either way, hopefully the content was still good and you guys still had a good time. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on Twitch, what have you. Uh, all the links are in the description. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time, guys.